Welcome. On behalf of my co-chairman, Larry Steinman, Thomas Sir, and my other hardworking colleagues, we, w we do welcome you heartily to this very distinguished and important event. The quest to extend health and lifespan is as old as our species. Prospects are now in sight to do this. Maybe not that soon, but perhaps sooner than we may think. The science is spectacular, and we will get to that in a moment. But for the most part, science has not provided evidence-based solutions for people. A large gap separates the science from practical, effective, long-term solutions to extend healthy lifespan, and let's call it healthspan. Getting the clinical data is challenging. Regulatory approval of a novel health span indication is another daunting challenge. And to be, to be clear, we're not just considering drugs today, but n nutritionals, digital technologies, social interventions, and lifestyle. We'll be hearing about all of that here because it will take all of these approaches. Developing a health span product takes a lot of time and money from the government, from investors, then the product has to get on the shelf, and that takes investment. Nothing gets off the shelf if government, private payers, and consumers themselves are not willing to pay the price. Only then will consumers and their healthcare advisors be willing to consider the important, or consider the product. Importantly, return on investment has to occur, or no other products will be developed. It's relatively easy for the consumer to take the first step, to decide to take the product, but the hard part is decades of compliance and adherence to adequate product use to prevent distant complications of aging, which have no premonitory symptoms. If all goes well, the data will reassure people to keep using or to start using the product. And it will help organizations to justify paying for it. And finally, as the consumer who has invested the effort, we hope will benefit. But she will not know the actual benefit that she personally reaped from that investment. Now, biomarkers and artificial intelligence will help all along the way, and they may also provide feedback that's encouraging to people on therapy. But this is the fundamental challenging ecology that we are dealing with. And we will be focusing on practical solutions today. Both of my parents died two months apart earlier this year. My parents lived great long lives and productive lives, but the last five years were very difficult, painful, filled with disability, uh, dependency, and heartbreak. So we all understand, from a personal standpoint, what we're after here. The problem is we do not yet have a playbook for getting there. And that is why we are here today, each in our own ways, with our own knowledge, skills, and disciplines, to close the gap. We begin now. To begin every day to close the gap between science and its transformation into health. For many, even all. There is no better way to begin the conference than for me to introduce my dear friend and colleague, Larry Steinman, 
Much can be said about Larry, to, be, to keep it short. Larry has done so much for therapeutic development and he has received much recognition. But he is not done yet. There is more to be done and more recognition of a singular kind to come. Thank you. Thank you, Zan, and welcome, everyone. The next two days should be very exciting. And uh, one of the problems we run into at an exciting meeting like this is we're sitting most of the time, and we're going to hear a lot of talks that sitting most of the time is not good for your health and longevity. So if you start wandering and dropping in the aisle and doing some push-ups, it's okay. But uh, we'll see, as uh, somebody said, we'll see what happens. I'd like to introduce our first speaker. He's the director of the uh, National Institute of Aging, Richard Hodas. He's a distinguished scientist. He comes uh, with training in internal medicine. I first met him at Mass General Hospital sometime in the early 1970 when he was my resident on some clerkship. He went on to have a distinguished career as a fellow immunologist. And again, in this meeting, you'll hear a lot that one of the drivers of the pathology in aging and the whole problem with metabesity is inflammation. Anyway, uh, Richard has a number of honors. He's in the National Academy of Medicine, and he runs a very important institute in our uh, blessed National Institutes of Health with uh, a major budget. Without any uh, more introduction, Richard, please. <laughs> 